Peace, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing? And we're back here with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about the Honor 9X Pro, which was actually released in July, 2019. Now, I powered this thing on literally today. And one of the things that I did notice on here was that when you go into the settings, there was an update here and it looked to be the Android 10 update, which is going to give you um, the newest software for MUI, which is going to be the 10.0.1.120. And you can see this thing is really a large file right here. It says it's four gigabytes and it says MUI 10 is designed to further streamline and enhance the quality of the user. It provides the user with a whole new fine-tuned user interface designed to facilitate a smoother and more intuitive user experience. The HD video calls are now possible even in dark environments and the voice assistant has been made even smarter as well. They also offer a uh, user interface, which is intricate and breathtaking. They say here, here at the top, and then performance is stable and smooth. They also improve the smoothness and stability of the system when playing games, and it gives you a high bandwidth and low, um, higher bandwidth with um, low latency internet connections. So that sounds really good. Also, it's gonna improve the phone clone as well. So GPU turbo, link turbo, and the phone clone and then also security updates you're getting so Huawei is uses its own self-developed microkernel design for the privacy and basically you're going to be getting improved security with the device when transferring files between um, devices which is cool so you can see that the HD calls actually increased a little bit right here they also improved that and smart assistant and a couple of other things here to note, but let's, what we're gonna go ahead and do, I didn't see anything that involved the camera. So this is mainly just software for the system. So let's just go ahead, hit that button. And it says, uh, these three things may not work properly when adapted to the new Android system. So let's just hit continue. And this is, Continue. So we're going to connect to the five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is going to be right at the top right here. So let's just hit connect right there. And I'm going to wait for this thing to download all the way through. And once it's uh, it finds a connection, it says right here is connecting to the network. But um, I'll be right back right after this download. Now, one of the main reasons why most companies are scared of Huawei and Honor is, and, and, and I mean that in a good way, like um, as far as, you know, what they're doing is the fact that they, um, not only do they take care of their devices software, but they also innovate their hardware as well. You can see this device has all screen display and it was the third phone in the world to have the seven nanometer chip um, which is a, a high silicon Kirin 810. Now this thing was released on Android 9.0 Pi and now it's being updated to the 10.0.1, um, which is like uh, really innovative. And then when you turn this thing to the back, you're getting um, an ultra wide um, camera on this thing. Not even the, the new Google phone offers ultra wide camera, um, but this thing is gonna actually be really good. They actually put that telephoto in the Google camera, but this one has the uh, ultra wide. It also has the uh, depth sensor. And also the uh, last camera is the wide. So you're, you're getting a lot of different perspectives with, with this thing. So not only can you take shots close up, you're also gonna be able to take shots far away and get a lot of detail as well. But I'm gonna wait for this thing to download um, I just wanted to let you guys know that Huawei and Honor phones are really taken care of when it comes to the software. Now they're saying that the uh, magazines uh, design the AI magazine screen 
will be reimagined and um, everything like that. Also, the Morandi color, the understated gray tones make for a gentler and more comfortable display animations, page transitions, app launches, other scenarios. So that's pretty much for the interface. Uh, you're getting performance enhancements with the bandwidth connections and you're also getting stabi stability with the system when playing games and phone clone improves connection and uh, cloning speed. Uh, they're also giving you more privacy and um, secure data and video calling enhancements as well as smart assistant enhancements. And uh, you can connect this thing to gimbals via Bluetooth now. It supports the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 to take photos and record videos with the camera as well. So you can also um, see that they've just taken care of this thing in a whole lot of detail. But this thing is almost done downloading. So let me just pause the video. All right, so this thing is just about done. And it's actually verifying right now. And it's almost completely finished installing. Well, now it's just gonna install to the phone. The phone is gonna reboot and it's gonna install the MUI 10.0, which is going to enhance my user interface and quality. So it says right here, you can install, hit this button or it'll do so automatically. Boom. And so now it's going to reset. This box is actually really filthy, but I think I spilled like some beer on it. But let me just put this to the side and wait for this to reload right here. So you can see it says Honor, powered by Android. And um, this screen is actually beautiful. I love this screen. It's an uh, LTPS, so it's the LTPS screen, IPS, LCD, capacitive touchscreen. So that's one of the more enhanced LCD displays, which is um, going to be really nice. This thing also has 1080 times 2340, 19.59 um, ratio with 391 pixels per inch. Now you're also getting a motorized pop-up selfie camera, which is 16 megapixels. And you're also getting the side mounted fingerprint sensor. Also, you are getting um, the finger, no, yeah, the side mounted fingerprint sensor and headphone jack on deck with type C charging. Now this phone has one of the most powerful processors in the world for the price point. And um, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is really crazy. Uh, 10 watt charging, which is the only thing that I don't like, but it still charges pretty quick. Now, this thing is uh, crazy when it comes to um, living outside of what's expected because it's going to give you 8 gigabytes of RAM. Yep, 8 gigabytes of RAM for a phone that is pretty much about $300. And then you're getting... 128 gigabytes standard as the standard model. Now the higher up model will be um, 8 gigabytes of RAM and paired along with 256 gigabytes. There's some Chinese lettering on the bottom of there right here. I can't really understand what it's saying, but obviously you can see the percentage going up and basically it's doing its thing as far as installing the software onto here. So um, that's actually pretty cool, but let me wait for this to actually finish and get back to the video. Okay, after unlocking my phone right away, once it rebooted, this is what it says. So it says basic service statement, Huawei auto discovery service statement, enhanced service statement update. You should just click next. And then it says right here, meet time allows you to for sparkling HD video calls over internet to your contacts, eligible Huawei devices, and comes with remarkably skin smoothing features. Simply go to the meet and touch enable to enjoy the boundless communications for the from the future. 
Then you're also getting that gaming boosted turbo feature, which is strictly for gaming, for nimble, intuitive gameplay, heightened touch, responsiveness, and endless immersion. Last but not least, you're getting lightning fast mobile internet right here. This is the no new version at this time. Some screens may not display correctly if you continue to use the Steam. Uh, let's hit cancel, but you're getting that light and fast internet speed. So let's just hit finish. And now it's going to basically tell me we can get off the wi the Wi-Fi now, but uh, and my version came with the Google Play Store on it. So I do have the Google Play Store on mine right here. I actually ordered it with the Google Play Store on it and you can see right here um, it has everything that you need. It also does have that app gallery for from Huawei which is really cool as well because it's even like I remember before it didn't have the Tinder app now it has the Tinder app so they have some really new apps that are coming onto this thing so they're gonna be getting every single app eventually that the Play Store is getting because you know, the Google for some reason didn't want to partner with them anymore, but <clears throat> let's go into the settings and let's just go into how about phone. And now it says we're actually running on Android 10 right here, as you can see. So it says we're running on Android 10 now and it's running on the MUI 10.0.1. And um, everything is here. So that's pretty crazy. Let me just click this to verify it and that's crazy uh, so you can see everything is Android 10 on here and this is the update for the Honor 9x Pro so if you have this device let me know down below uh, how long you've had it and everything like that and um, let's let's talk about it in the comment section down below but this is actually crazy I didn't um, expect this it just came out of nowhere pretty much but um, everything looks really good right here. You're getting a newer um, interface. So this interface is different. It's newer. It seems more seamless and more intuitive. The animations are a lot cleaner. I'm also getting that dark mode now, which, which I didn't have the option to get that dark system wide dark mode, but uh, we actually have that on here now. Uh, so everything is dark. Let me just turn that to day right here. You could turn it back to day, but because uh, of the theme I have on here, it's just stuck on dark, so that's crazy. But you have the hotspot offline navigation dock, which is the pill right here that you could use to, you know, navigate. You could just turn that off when you so desire, but you do also have wireless projection, which is going to basically be like a screencast. You also do have a uh, eye comfort when your eyes are in the nighttime and you know everything like that but you can see that the this is the new dark mode that they implemented so this is from this one I had here is from an app this is actually the real one and you do get some type of security thing here which I haven't seen before Fido sec uh, key security which I don't let me just click that because I never seen that before um, what is that this phone can be used as a security key when using Fido uh, authentication or other devices. Please select your preferred authentication method. So I've never seen that feature before, but um, uh, let me know down below what you think about the new update for the Honor uh, 9X Pro. And make sure you guys stay locked in with me for more videos just like this. But I appreciate every last one of you. But in the meantime, make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.